So this is the last part in the Polaroid 900 series. Um, I kind of left off last time, uh, it was about a year and a half ago, so sorry about that. And uh, well, it was basically because I, I had to rush to get this finished because I wanted to use this on a trip. Um, and I guess I just didn't uh, kind of get back to it after that. But um, this is the final part, finally. Um, you can see it's all finished. Uh, I left off last time um, with the kind of the back uh, compartment here. But it was pretty much finished. Um, the only thing I did other than that was to create this strap. It's just a piece of leather, a strip of leather, uh, kind of riveted on here, the strap lugs. Um, so pretty simple. Um, I wanted to actually make this a combination shoulder and kind of uh, hand strap. But it, I, I just couldn't get it to work nicely. So I removed the hand strap part and just left it as a shoulder strap. And I think the shoulder strap is actually um, you know, good enough and it's, it's quite nice to use, it's nice to use to, to hold, um, kind of carry around than just the hand strap. So um, I left it with the shoulder strap. Um, you can see here, um, put the grip on, all everything leathered up. Um, the top here I, I sprayed black and, uh, you know, a matte black grey. And you can see it's pretty much, you know, it's not much has changed I guess since the last video. Uh, see some brassing down here. And this is the compartment. Um, you can see the epoxy magnets and the, the, the kind of steel plates here I put in. Um, I also keep this release in here, cable release, for those times when I need it. This compartment is good for other stuff as well, you know, random little bits and bobs. Um, so it's quite useful. But again, as I said, you need it because um, if you don't have that, this back will just bump into here and not be able to open properly. So um, you need that. And here, I guess, uh, now it's finished, you can see why I said you need to leave this piece of the grip um, kind of profiled. Um, this is so you can get your finger in here to pull this white tab out. Um, uh, if you, if obviously, if you can't get your fingers in there to pull this out, then it's useless. And also, the, the Polaroid itself actually comes out here, so you need to be able to access that as well. Um, so they're the only things you kind of keep, need to keep in mind. Um, swing it round. The front opens like so. The standard Polaroid. Um, locked and you see the bellows are spray, sp sprayed black um, just because they, they look pretty tatty in their grey state so I sprayed them black give them a, a, a kind of a nice look um, you see the lens board here lens Fujinon W135 5.6 um, this is the old style with the lettering inside the ring uh, the newer style has the uh, lettering on the outside of the barrel here and it's slightly thicker uh, with slightly less coverage apparently, um, but the coverage is not an issue. Um, but you know, the smaller size is, is nice to have. I think the standard Fujinon W, the newer version, will actually still fit in this, and uh, I think the, one three, the, the 150 will also fit in here, no problem. So, um, you know, if you can find the one with the inner lettering, that's nice, but if you can't, then um, you know, I don't think it's too much to worry about. Um, so, yeah, you know, focusing on. It works nice and smooth, um, but yeah, there's not really much else to it. This is the final thing, um, you know. Sorry again, it took so long to actually put these last few videos up, um, but uh, this is it the final kind of completed 900 to use Fuji instant pack films. Um, I do actually plan on doing the 4x5 sometime, um, I can't promise when. So don't kind of you know hold your breath, but I, I do definitely plan on doing a four by five one one day. Um, I guess we'll find some time. So uh, keep an eye on that if you're interested. Um, but yeah, this is it. Nine hundred to use current instant films.